hi guys hope you have a great day today a review of a Bucker Plus Plus Piranha knife I have this knife already for a year or maybe even two years and I really like it and, uh, I, I tend to use it maybe the most of all my knives because I use it in two scenarios. In the first scenario when I'm camping, making a long trips, uh, then I use it as a complementary tool to the main one that I have with me, to the big knife or hatchet. And so that's the first case, first scenario, and then I use the main tool for uh, heavy duty, heavy stuff, and this one for some refined, precise work. And it's a really nice combo, no matter if I use it with, to, together with hatchet or together with some big knife or, or some saw. It just works very nice. And the second scenario is when I'm hiking in, uh, in the mountains so or whatever, just, just making some longer trips. Uh, I just keep it on my belt just in case. Normally I'm not using it while, while hiking, maybe to open some bag with food or, or just to yeah, just to, to, to work with some piece of wood uh, when, I'm, when I have some, some break uh, on, on, on trail, on track. Mm, but yeah, I just like to keep it on my belt, especially that it's very lightweight, very... Mm, yeah, you don't, 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 don't feel that you have it with you, actually. For, you forgot to have it, but uh, if you need it, it is there. It is supposed to be uh, made in Germany uh, also nowadays it's difficult to say whether something was made in Germany or uh, or in China and then just branded uh, but I just wanted to show you the what well, the first of all the quality of the knife the sheet is great and even the the packaging is really nice I mean it's still the cardboard but black one really nice looking one some cutouts for the elements so it's also a very good uh, idea for some gift if you want to make a, a present for someone, make a gift. Then yeah, I, I would recommend that this packaging adds to the to the feeling, the premium feeling. Uh, also, it's not a really expensive premium knife; it's rather affordable. Uh, maybe let's start from the sheet. So it can. This is this is let's say a belt loop. And the, the sheet itself can go, I think, in three ways. So it can be horizontal, it can be vertical, and then there is also some angle in the middle possible. Uh, for me, I just keep it on my belt, like uh, on my stomach, on the front of my, my body. And I found it to be the most useful setup. And, uh, for a while, I was I unscrewed the, 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 the belt loop and use it on, as a necker, put some paracord through these holes. But then I realized I don't really like the feeling of, of knife on my, uh, on my neck. I just don't like the, the, this small, but still some extra weight. It's not really comfortable for me. And also this type of sheet, if the knife goes, uh, let's say, down to the sheet then yeah you can probably use it with one hand and it's just easier to have it in, in your neck but if it's hanging down like that and there is a retention tension that keeps it inside you know it's not going anywhere but th th that's good of course you don't want to lose it but the bad side is that if you want to take it out it's easy you can do it with one hand if you want to put the knife back in then it's like yeah you need to use both both hands and or press the uh, the knife against your body which i don't really like so yeah that's the setup that i'm using right now and uh, long story short i really really like the the sheet it's great for this knife perfect kydex one very solid after a year let's say of heavy usage or using it often it still looks brand new you know not losing at all, like the day I was using it for the first time. Knife itself, stainless steel. I'm not sure whether you're still able to see. Yeah, 
here it is 440C carbon steel uh, sorry not carbon stainless uh, and yeah uh, maybe starting from the, the edge originally it was not convex I convexed it by myself because I just like convex and it's doing it's really sharp maybe I'll be able to show you I think you can see that it's shaving very easily actually it's extremely sharp most probably because it's rather a thin one not that thin actually you can use it even to, to baton stuff and I did and the I think it's even a set we can call it a saber grind I think so it's very high edge so you can you can really make it razor sharp for some yeah, refined work. Now here you have the part of the edge that you can that your your thumb no what do you call it? yeah this finger can can rest and it's like I think it's made for it actually so it's very good. This part you can sharpen of course if you want to yeah, fight with this knife. I don't fight with my knives in general. Uh, so uh, yeah and I don't sharpen it uh, and yeah great edge uh, very good edge retention very good geometry uh, yeah it's rather in this portion let's say it's very high one but it's good I mean uh, as I mentioned it even you can use it as a batoner for small uh, small branches and I use it and it works so yeah the, this and the, 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 the tip is in the center uh, of the uh, of the knife so it's also good for drilling so yeah very very good uh, very good edge very good knife easy to sharpen there is this additional section here to, that, that makes the so here that makes the sharpening easier so yeah that's it i wish this part was this part was sharp like 90 degrees so it could scrub the the fire steel it cannot actually you can scrub the fire steel with this part which is not that bad actually but to do that i would recommend to put it in the sheet because it's easier to cut yourself okay you, you can do it actually you can keep it like that and then but i <laughs> not really it's, it's really sharp so not, not maybe not the best idea i would prefer you know to have this section sharper 90 degrees to, to to be able to i try to do it but you know it's not that easy i'm using water stones to sharpen my tools and it's just when i start to do it it just start to um, damage the handle so yeah probably in the future i'll figure it out handle itself is a small one so my medium small hands i still need to put my pinky here which is fine right it's very solid grip you can you can use the knife very easily securely it's like it's a good one also maybe if you have bigger hands it may be an issue i don't know really so yeah if you have big hands not sure if this is a knife for you for me it's really good especially that i added here this small paracord really small one uh, why well first of all it just extends the the grip i can it's like a longer handle than for me and then you can also i, well, I tend to, because I, I sometimes i even chop with it that's the beauty of this knife that i can just keep it like that and then you know like and maybe it sounds for you ridiculous but actually it works i i i, I use this knife a lot like that it's a little bit loose in my hand when I'm hitting and it's uh, I, I think I've figured out this technique by myself I haven't seen it anywhere uh, but yeah it just it's almost like the knife was two times longer when you use it like that and it's light enough so you actually can allow it to 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 work like that in your hand without the risk of losing it so yeah uh, very versatile knife you can also I can also put my pinky through the, the, the loop and then this grip is even even more 
more secure although yeah there is no risk that your your hand will slip on a blade because it's this because it's so so wide here so it's, there's just no chance you don't need to put this paracord at all but i, I found it very uh, yeah ni nice add-in actually it works nice for me uh, the handle itself i think it's some g10 or i'm not sure it's my carta honestly i have no idea i, I forgot what's the name of this material the, the, the thing is it works <laughs> there is no stains there is no damage on it there is uh, it's it's a little bit rectangular you can see that it is flat but for this size of the knife i don't mean i don't mind it just goes between my fingers like that and that's it probably not a tool that you would consider being your let's say a night main tool that you want to use for hours and hours if you need to process a lot of wood probably not not the best one but yeah if you want to have something very small lightweight uh, always with you even on uh, hikes on uh, small trips uh, even when you are going for a walk or with, with your dog and or with your children but you want to have something on, on you just to use it just in case and different purposes different reasons and, uh, and it's there and it, the people just don't see it if you put it like that on your belt vertical horizontally sorry and, and put the t-shirt on top of it people just think it's like part of your belt and the people don't notice it is there and, uh, so it's not like you are flashing around that you have a knife with you and, uh, which is great yeah and you don't always in all cases in all places to show people that you have a knife with you some there are just some scenarios in your life that you don't want to see people that they have that you have a knife with you don't want to make them i don't know nervous or just like not not a part of the the culture of the of the social scenario but you still would like to have it with you because you will be using it afterwards or whatever then yeah great one and, uh, great great one to pick i would really really strongly recommend it and honestly uh, i don't remember how much i paid for it actually probably it was around 50 euro maybe something like that 50 60 and, uh, and honestly uh, <laughs> Boker, please don't don't listen right now i think it's it's worth twice that much at least for me and, uh, so yep money well spent a very good knife i would really strongly recommend it for anyone that is looking for a small uh, heavy duty actually and a versatile knife take care guys stay safe